Hey, welcome guys. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to send an email using Graph API with attachment uh, using PowerShell and Graph API. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. So first thing first that we need here is the app registration with appropriate permission. So I have already created the app registration here. So if I go to API permission, you see mail dot send permission with um, application type and I have already granted the admin consent. So once you have these details, um, you can uh, quickly follow this script in here. So I'll explain you the script real quick, but you can find this on my GitHub repo. I will paste this link in the description down below so you can check that out. All right, so here, if I explain you first three line, it tells me the mail sender who is going to send an email, the attachment location. So this is where my file is on my desktop. Uh, it's a document, Word document file. Uh, the recipient is going to be my another email address which i have opened over here so the first thing that this is going to do is convert the file location to a base 64 string once we have all of that uh, you, you need to enter the tenant id of the app registration that you created client secret and client id so once you have these details in here uh, we are ready to get the token so this part over here token body gets the um, token which is of type client credential uh, this part would remain same and client ID would be fetched from here same for client secret So once this part and code reaches here, it will have a token response which will have the token body in it Once we have it, we will set the headers So this is going to be a better token and content time gonna be application slash JSON So once that in that is in here, we will send an email So URL to send an email using graph API is graph.microsoft.com slash 1.0 users and users upn or the email address so in this case we are using email address and we're going to send an email so email has been sent uh, the subject is hello world from graph uh, the content you can change as you want and the attachment would be the base 64 string that we used in there if you see the attachment section you will get those details in here the file name which is the xyz docs content type text dot plain and base 64 string Email address, where do you want to send this? Uh, it's been displayed over here. So once all of that is done, it will invoke and send a post request. So I have already did this uh, here. I'll quickly run this again. All right, so let's see. Okay, so it says email has been sent. I'll quickly click on this and we should be able to get an email anytime now. Yeah, there you go. So if I open this up, 11.53, 11.53 matches the timestamp. This is the content that we passed in with the attachment. And there you go, that's our attachment. That's up for today, guys. Uh, it was a short video. Do let me know if you have any questions or concerns over these videos. And do reach out to me if there are any. Uh, you can reach out to my LinkedIn. And I'll be happy to connect. Until next time, guys. See ya soon. Bye-bye.